hello guys and welcome back to my channel once again and uh, today we're gonna discuss few of the perfume not a specific perfume review because winters are approaching instead winters are approached it's just knocking at the door so i was just thinking that to uh, to select few of the perfumes which are very good uh, suitable for the colder time period which are good in the winter so uh, these fragrances uh, i have selected 10 fragrances and i have kept one thing in my mind that uh, either these fragrances are inexpensive or you can say a medium range fragrances so i haven't included anything uh, expensive niche or expensive designer so all these uh, perfumes are in reach of uh, all all lot of the people so these are inexpensive or a medium range perfumes medium range cost perfume so I have selected 10 perfumes and in short all these perfumes are good in performance and I also have uh, selected a couple of fresh fragrances since fresh fragrances are not very much uh, known for the uh, lasting for the performance but the fragrances which I have selected in this list are equally good for the colder weather they have very good performance so just uh, and I tr have tried to uh, like uh, the fragrance which is on number 10 means it is uh, the, the cost wise though so the cheaper one first and the expensive one uh, in this list on first one regarding the performance all performs good so just let's get started and the perfume at number 10 slot is from the house of Rasasi and it's Rasasi Darej. Darej is basically uh, one of the most sold perfumes from this house, Rasasi. It is a sweet um, oriental sort of fragrance and it is a beast mode performer. Um, it is a very inexpensive gem but it performs very good and the quality of juice the quality of scent in this fragrance is of top notch so just try this fragrance it will perform even uh, the new batches i have this new batch 2021 i guess 2021 batch so after reformulation uh, this batch is after reformulation and i can easily say that on skin minimum 8 hours and on fabric 10 hours plus easy so this is this performance is after reformulation so i will again say that after even reformulation this outfit performs a lot of like de designers and lot of niche perfumes so this is rasasi darej from the house of rasasi just try this fragrance and at number nine we have a perfume from the house of latafa and that's latafa khamra a very good bottle very good presentation this is also a very inexpensive perfume in this list like 25 less than 30 dollars you'll be getting this perfume and the quality of juice is more than hundred dollars so this is basically known to be a clone of direct clone of Killian's angel shares but in my opinion it is not a direct clone of Killian's angel share but it has its own character it has some sort of uniqueness and uh, it is sort of different but it goes in the same direction so yes this is a clone of Killian's angel share but it goes in sort of different direction as well so just try this fragrance and you will love this fragrance and the performance here you'll be getting easy 10 hours on your skin and on fabric 14 hours 15 hours 16 hours plus even I can say that 24 hours on fabric so it is a gem just try this fragrance it is boozy and it is a very good fragrance you need to try this fragrance in this low budget uh, so you will be getting a very nice high quality scent profile in 
this low budget Latafa Khamra. Just try this fragrance. And next fragrance we have from the house of Davidoff. And it is Cool Water Intense. It is basically a flanker of uh, one of the most uh, liked fragrance, a uh, fresh fragrance, and that's the Cool Water, the original Eau de Toilette version. And that perfume is very well known in the fragrance community. It was like uh, released more than a decade before, and it is still dated. Uh, that DNA is very popular and very likable. This perfume is the uh, flanker of that original DNA, but it does not follow that DNA. It is very different and it is fresh and sweet at the same time. This does not, this is just a flanker, but the scent profile is very much different. In no ways this resembles with the original so this is basically fresh this is sweet and this scent profile is somehow uh, identical to versace eros edt and edp somewhere in between edt and edp and the performance here to include this fragrance in this winter list is it is sort of a uh, dense freshy so uh, it can be uh, used in it can be weird in summers it can be weird in spring fall winters all year round it is a very versatile fragrance because it performs very good in all season it performs very good in high heat and it performs good in very colder weather i can easily get uh, eight hours on my skin and 10 hours plus on my fabric so uh, it is not very much expensive and it is the scent quality the perfume is very high quality just try this fragrance do not buy this fragrance as thinking as this is the flanker of original eau de toilette and the scent profile will be uh, comparable to that fragrance this is totally different it goes in the direction of versace eros it it has a dominant mint note which makes it different from the original so it is fresh and sweet at the same time so just try this fragrance you will like this fragrance and the next fragrance we have from the house of bentley and that is bentley for men intense a very uh, decent good looking bottle this is sort of a fragrance either you will like it or you will hate it the people who like it they love it and the people who do not like sort of boozy fragrances sweet bold fragrances they just don't like this sort of dna but it in itself is a very high quality dna inside this bottle it is boozy and it is sweet and it is very long lasting this is very potent fragrance that's why i was saying that either you will like it or you will hate it so the people who like this fragrance they just love this stuff and to me this is just a love this is a very high quality uh, very uplifting a gentleman fragrance a very boozy uplifting gentleman fragrance this is not a very much expensive fragrance, but the juice quality inside this bottle is very much expensive. So you will be getting a very high quality fragrance in less price and the performance from this is like a beast. You will be getting easy 8 to 10 hours on your skin and 10 to 12 hours plus on your fabric. And the projection with this thing is sort of beast mode, initial 2 hours, 3 hours, this performs like a beast so just try this fragrance in summers and you will love this dna if you like this sort of dna and next fragrance we have uh, a clone and that is the clone of pakarat rooch 540 eau de perfume and that's from the house of armov club de nuit untold 
from the bottle it gives vibes of Baccarat Rouge 540 because of the color scheme this red color I actually very like this bottle this is very different this is a class untold is as I told you it's the clone of Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum somewhere in between the original Eau de Parfum and Extrait I think it's more closer to Eau de Parfum it, it is not closer to Extrait so uh, as this is the clone and it is a direct clone so it resembles very much with that fragrance and the good thing about this fragrance is the performance and the quality and the price so the thing what you are getting from this fragrance at what price and the performance you are getting from this fragrance is of top notch this house is releasing some of the amazing fragrances instant some of the amazing clones of the high priced fragrances in a very low price with a very high quality so you'll be getting a very high quality fragrance of a very highly priced fragrance in a very fraction of a price just try this fragrance and it's a clone of Baccarat Rouge if you like that DNA you will love this DNA and the performance here that fragrance I guess is nowadays more than 250 300 dollars and this you'll be getting around like 50 dollars even lesser so in $50 you'll be getting a fragrance of $250 or $300 fragrance and in ear it seems same no difference in the ear so the quality of top notch and the performance here is easy 8 to 10 hours on skin and 14, 15, 16 hours plus on your fabric and the projection is like a beast it, this perfume projects and it leaves a very uh, nice scent trail behind you so if you want projection if you want performance if you want sillage just try this fragrance in a very low budget you'll be getting this fragrance this DNA is awesome try this next fragrance we have from the house of Rasasi and that's La Yuquam Pour Homme. This fragrance is basically a clone of Tuscan leather and it is a very well done clone of Tuscan leather. This is also a glass in a bottle, a very high quality, a very good performing fragrance clone of a very high quality fragrance in this bottle so if the people who like a leather fragrance uh, they need to try this fragrance because it's even like uh, less than half of the price of the original Tuscan leather and the performance here is also very good initially uh, the initial batches of this perfume I have also tried the initial batch as well this batch is the uh, like uh, recent batch I guess 2021 batch I have this thing yes it's not written here it's in, in in the box I think it's 2021 batch so now since you'll be getting uh, these batches the reformulated batches so initially this perfume was known to be a very good performance clone of Tuscan leather even better than the Tuscan leather few people said that but now you will not be getting that sort of performance that sort of projection but still you will be getting a very good performance a very good projection from this and the juice quality is actually very high very good uh, quality of scent here so for the performance of the recent batches of this perfume you will be getting easy 8 hours plus on your skin and 10 hours plus on your fabric so still 8 hours is like a very good performance and the projection for initial couple of hours or 3 it projects very good and it is still noticeable for like 4 hours 5 hours 6 hours this is 
noticeable so people will notice you after like two three four five feet four three four feet so this is a very uh, good fragrance still this is very good fragrance still it is very inexpensive as compared to the original one so uh, if you want to try tuscan leather in fraction of a price you need to try this fragrance this is a quality next thing we have from the house of john paul gautier and that's the ultra male ultra male is known to be a party boy a clubbing king clubbing fragrance and yes indeed it is a bubble gummy sweet uh, fragrance and it has a very unique different likable uh, pear note uh, mixed with the sweetness so that that that's the reason people say that this is a clubbing king i have the recent batch and this this perfume is known to be a beast mode performer the initial batches still this is not a beast mode performer but the performance is on the point 8 to 10 hours 8 hours 9 hours easy on skin and 10 hours 12 hours even 14 15 16 hours plus on your fabric and the projection here is very good like for initial 2 3 hours 4 hours it still projects and it leaves a very good scent trail behind you so this if even if you are getting a newer batches this is still very good performance 8 hours 9 hours on your skin and 14 15 16 hours plus on your fabric even you'll be noticing this uh, uh, this scent on the next day like more than 24 hours so the performance has got no issues although it's not like matchable to the initial batch batches but still it is very good it is above average it is very likable the dna is very unique likable and if you want to enjoy a sweetness if you want to enjoy a very different pair note with this sweet paired with this sweetness you need to try this fragrance just give it a try and you will love this fragrance john paul gautier ultra male next fragrance we have from the house of armani and that's aqua di Gio profumo this fragrance i think is one of the best designer creations out there in the market i have the recent batch the initial batches of this perfume was with the magnetic cap and this batch is like these snuff fit like this this is not a magnet and i have uh, i have heard from few people that this has been reformulated and the performance is very uh, down for these batches i will sort of disagree with such like points because this is a uh, recent batch and the performance is like 95 6 7 percent same as compared to initial batches although you can say four or five percent it is less bold it is less potent than the initial one but still like two three four percent five percent is negligible the important thing is the dna inside this bottle the quality inside this bottle and the performance inside this bottle that's the reason this is the darker fresh fragrance and i have included in this list for the best fragrances best suitable fragrances for the winters it is very dark incensey fresh aquatic fragrance it is a very versatile fragrance which can be used in like any time throughout the year either it's summers either it winters spring autumn whatever the weather it is this thing will perform and this is a very likable scent inside this bottle regarding the performance of this perfume it performs easy 8 9 hours 10 hours on skin and 15 hours 14 hours plus on your fabric so the perf this sort of performance from a fragrance which is from a fresh category this is a beast mode perfume just try this fragrance in winters and you will love this dna
next perfume we have in our list and that's on number two and it's from the house of Mansera and that is Sidrat Boz was a intense or Sidrat Bo intense it is a flanker of original Mansera Sidrat Boze and it is intense Sidrat Boze although it is a flanker of the original perfume but it has some sort of differences it is more dense it is more sweet instead of being more freshy it is also fresh and sweet and it is more dense at the same time Sidrat Boze is known to is known to be a clone or it goes in the same direction of Creed Aventus this perfume is basically different from the scent profile of Creed Aventus it does not go in that direction it has its own direction I will not say that this is like cloning Creed Aventus even I will rate it more higher than Creed Aventus since because the price the quality the performance no comparison it is like uh, three times cheaper than the Creed Aventus it is a bit expensive than the original Sidrat Pose, but the people who have Sidrat Pose, they just don't need to buy this fragrance. And when they finish off that their bottles, so they, they, they can consider this thing. But you, can, you, you don't need to like uh, collect both bottles together. Or because they are identical, but this goes in some sort of different direction. So you just, if, if you have the other bottle, it's just fine. But if you want to try, you can just try this bottle. You will not find a very much differences in both original and this intense version. But the people who does not have the original Sidrat Boze, they just uh, need not consider the original one and they need to consider this thing. This is more good, this is more potent, this is more of a quality juice inside and the performance here is king. You will, it, it is basically a fresh, sweet, dense, potent fragrance. It is a very versatile fragrance which can be like uh, used in uh, all year round in hot weather and in the colder weather but in intense hot weather few people might find it harder to digest this just a few people i'm not talking about the masses i'm just talking about the few people so uh, just try this fragrance it performs easily like 10 hours plus on your skin 15 16 hours plus on your fabric and for the projection it projects for like two or three hours four hours like crazy and then it is still noticeable up to seven eight hours nine hours and then after 10 hours 11 hours it becomes your skin scent and which, which is still noticeable in eighth ninth tenth hour so you might get compliments in seventh eighth hours with this one i got some just try this fragrance it will create a very good decent siage behind you so this is uh, amazing stuff must have must try fragrance in your collection the last one we have from the house of montel and that's the honey oath this fragrance is also a beast mode perfume i just don't like the uh, the stopper it, it is just sort of tacky even i don't like the bottles of montel i prefer bottles like this it is like class in a bottle very classy Mansera bottles but the Montel bottle gives you feeling like you are just using a cheap uh, inexpensive uh, body spray or deodorant although it's not a deodorant this is a very upscale high quality fragrance inside this bottle it has one uh, like uh, benefit of this bottle like if you uh, if it uh, goes down on the floor it will not like tear into pieces so this is the benefit of this bottle it is safe in, in, in as compared to the other glass bottles so just uh, talking about the fragrance this is honey mixed with the oud it is very potent it is like very long lasting it is very likable 
this fragrance this or this sort of fragrance you just need not like to sniff like very close from your skin you need to try you need to uh, enjoy this fragrance in the air and in the air it creates a very good magic really magic and the performance here is uh, is like easily 10 hours on your skin 9 10 hours on your skin and like 24 hours on your fabric and for the projection it projects like 3 4 hours like crazy and then it it is still noticeable up to like 7th 8th 9th hour still noticeable so uh, this thing is a masterpiece just try this fragrance honey oud from the house of montel so this was all about today's list i hope you have enjoyed this list and uh, we will i will again make another list for the uh, perfumes for winters and uh, which is like uh, these are like not the cheaper options and i will just make another list for the perfumes which are very much cheap like twenty dollars twenty five dollars less than twenty dollars twenty five dollars so this the, these perfumes i will also make that list so till then if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest notifications of my upcoming videos so till my next video good luck goodbye thank you